Uh, normally we bring you our market update from a local small business, but today we thought we'd do something a little different. Since we're getting close to the holiday time, we thought we'd do some baking. And since we're not doing that big Thanksgiving dinner thing like most people because of that darn COVID, um, our one holiday guest is Phoebe. So today we're gonna be baking dog biscuits, pumpkin dog biscuits. So let's get baking. Okay, so here's what we've got. These are pumpkin peanut butter dog biscuits. We've got flour, peanut butter, and pumpkin. So simple, so easy. Um, the flour, you can use um, almost any dog-friendly flour, a regular AP, or this is whole wheat flour. Um, the peanut butter, again, you can use a natural peanut butter or creamy. You could even use a chunky if you want. But the one thing I want you to do is check the label and make sure there's no xylitol as the sweetener. That's why the natural is kind of good too. They usually don't use that stuff. Xylitol is very poisonous to dogs. Um, and some peanut butter companies were starting to use it. And I think most of them have taken it back out, but please check for that. Um, the final thing is the pumpkin puree. Now you can get it in the can or you can make it yourself. If you wanna make it yourself, um, stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll show you how to do that. Um, this one we did make from ourselves from a pie pumpkin. Just make sure that it's not the canned pumpkin pie, that it's just plain pumpkin puree. And we're gonna go ahead and mix all these ingredients together. It takes a little bit of effort, but we're gonna stir them and mix them until they form a nice ball. Okay, so once we've got it worked into a ball, and it is a little difficult, I stir it a bunch with a spoon, and then I kinda use my hands to get it all rolled in. Um, it is a fairly dry recipe, cause dog biscuits are crunchy, so it can be a little difficult. Uh, but once we get it rolled into a ball, we can start rolling it out flat so we can cut it into shapes. Okay, so now, once I've got it rolled out to about a quarter of an inch, maybe even less, I like my dog biscuits crispy. And uh, we have little tiny cookie cutters. I've got these little bones and I've got little dog shapes that I use. You could also use um, some Christmas shapes if you wanted to gift these for Christmas time. Um, and I'm going to cut them all out. What I usually do is I fill up this whole sheet and put them in and then I will rework the dough and re-roll it until I've used up all of my dough. All right, so I'm just laying these out on the tray, but while I do that, I was gonna let you know if you do make the pumpkin puree, pumpkin puree on your own, um, you'll have a lot, quite a bit left over and there's a couple things you can do with it for your pet. Um, one thing I like to do is make doggy popsicles or ice cream, um, Phoebe loves it. You just take that pumpkin puree that's left over, mix it with some dog friendly liquid. I use rice milk or a low sodium chicken stock. And you just blend it up and pour it into um, little cups or popsicle holders or even ice cube trays and then freeze it. And they love it, makes a great treat for those warm days or just in general, they love them. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in the oven. I've got them all cut out. The oven is set at 300. Oh, Phoebe's so anxious. We're gonna pop these in the oven and they'll bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's gonna be longer than you think, um, but it's gonna depend on how thick your dough is rolled. So check them in 20 minutes, it may go to 30. Okay, so while those are baking in the oven, let's talk about our local real estate market. Um, it's still booming here in the Richmond area. We are up 11% over the third quarter of last year, and there's a 30% spike from the second quarter to the third quarter. So we are just plowing right along. And if you're looking to sell, there's good news there too. We're actually, the average home price is up over 10% from last year. Okay, so we're ready to take ours out. These actually took about 25 minutes, and there they are. And of course, the hardest part for Phoebe is waiting for them to cool. So thanks for watching our very first baking video. Stay tuned for our next one, where I'm gonna show you my secret stuffing recipe. You're gonna love it. Okay, so if you want to make your own pumpkin puree, this is what we did. And Phoebe likes to help with everything. Um, you buy these little pie pumpkins is what they call them. You cut it in half, clean out the seeds as best you can, and I always cut off the ends, makes it easier to cut in half. 
You plop them on a baking sheet and we're gonna bake them at 350 for about an hour and that's it. Okay, so we've taken it out of the oven. This one actually cooked about an hour. You wanna cook it until it's really mushy. Just poke a fork in there and see how it's doing. Um, and then we're gonna peel it away from the skin into a big bowl and then we're gonna mash it. Okay, so I've got my potato masher and I am just mashing it up until it is a big mushy mess. Um, when you go to make the cookies, if you want to, you can add a little bit of water and stir it in if you want it to be um, more mushy for your puree. It's not bad. Phoebe, you wanna check it out? Does it pass the test? I think Phoebe likes it. <laughs>